Whenever I'm angry, I really start to, uh, lately I've been starting to observe that in myself as how is a boundary being crossed for me? Either how am I not setting a boundary that I need to support myself or how is somebody crossing a boundary that I have set and that makes me feel uncomfortable? Um, I've done this in my business a lot, actually. Like when, for example, when uh, people would cancel or no show a lot, like part of the reason we have policies in our business, for example, is basically setting a clear boundary to protect us from constantly feeling like somebody's pushing those boundaries. Like, oh, actually, what that was funny. Like I got a call in the middle of the night from a client. It's like, that's, that's a boundary. Like, first of all, I'm not your drug dot. <laughs> um, but so like, for example, like when I got that call in the middle of the night, I didn't answer at one, but I also was just a little annoyed because like, why are you calling me in the middle of the night? So that sense of anger is is supposed to be a little signal of like, okay, where's a boundary being crossed? And it doesn't mean you have to lash out or go get eight. Like, so you will feel anger, but you don't have to attack. That's what I want to make sure it's clear, right? Like, so notice the anger, observe it. Okay, like use it as a tool to explore what does this mean and why am I bothered by this? Okay. Usually it has to do with resetting a boundary with somebody so that you feel protected in a situation. So going back to this like drunk call I got in the middle of the night, you know, when I saw the client again, I had to just reset that boundary and say, Hey, I'm not really the person you should be calling in the middle of the night when you're drunk and, you know, essentially talking about my, my website or something. I don't know. It was a weird, it was a weird situation. But the point is, um, when you're having, when, whenever you're having this anger, I, w I challenge you to kind of listen to yourself and listen to it as like, how do I reset this boundary with a person so that I feel safe and comfortable? Um, and I would use it as a tool going forward. So again, anger isn't something that like, when you feel it, I, I'm, I'm challenging you not to like lash out or attack right away, but just to kind of go within and observe and take some time to just look at like, okay, what is this about this that feels uncomfortable? Um, what boundary, if it, I haven't set a boundary in this situation, what is a boundary that I need to set? If I have set a boundary in this situation and somebody is just crossing it, what does that mean for this relationship? Is this the kind of relationship where people do respect me and my boundaries? But either way, anger is commonly a little signal for is somebody crossing my boundaries. And I want you to observe that a little more. So you can submit a contact form. If you would like to see me at therapistinsaintlouis.com or if you'd like to see more videos and information, please like and subscribe to my channel.